that it is not by mistake that you clicked on to this video. There is something that you need to hear from it that can answer your questions that you have been having with no answers. Come on on and join me as we unfold together. Hello, my dear beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Unfold with Lefati. If you are a sustaining subscriber, welcome back to the family. And if you are new here, you are most welcome. Please do make sure that you join this family permanently by subscribing, liking, and commenting on any issue that you would want us to discuss on. Just grab your cup of coffee and let's talk together. Isn't that beautiful? It is just a beautiful, great day that the Lord has made for both of us, me and you. Today we are going to be talking about the move of God. What is the move of God? Someone could ask. When we speak about the move of God, we are talking about the encounter of, the, of something new, of the supernatural, of something that is driven by your faith, by your character and your spirituality. I don't know if I still have to unfold onto that. For you to encounter, for you to, to, to provoke the move of God, you have to be in a certain state, in a certain position. Because one thing that I know, God cannot release anything if you are not ready for it. He does not want to release something and you are careless with it. He, he does not want to release something and it ends your life because you are not ready for it. This video is going to help you on understanding that deeper and deepening your wisdom and understanding on how really God moves. The move of God in our lives is determined by the unfailing faith that is strong and pure. Having acceptance of our sins and truly believing that it takes full faith to ignite God's move in our lives. If we carry ourselves in a path of righteousness and preparing ourselves to receive the blessings of God, that is when we can see new things in our lives. N marriage, houses, everything that you desire in your life have to be provoked by your character. How you carry yourself the faith that you have let me tell you something when we talk about god we are not talking about someone who is there but we are talking about the spirit that is that is living inside of you the, and only that spirit needs you to build a relation with so that you can see it, you can feel it, you can see visions through it, you can see life in eternity through it. How marvelous. You know, things of God needs patience for us to understand them for us to be able to touch them, to feel them. We need a level of wisdom, a certain level of wisdom. We need to be peaceable. We need to be carrying the character of Christ. The story of Ruth. Ruth was a lady who was grieved by who was grieved by losing her husband after so many years of living together. I can imagine losing a husband. 
it's not an easy thing but when we see ruth there was a certain time where her mother-in-law wanted to send her back to her mother's house because she felt like the situation was too much and she was holding on to ruth while she had nothing to give to her she was being sympath sympathetic but then it wasn't provoked or ignited by god and then we see ruth being in denial not agreeing with her mother-in-law to go back to where she comes from because she had a certain spirit of assurance a certain spirit of wanting something to move in her life would she have gone back to her mother's life would she have looked back what could have happened so ruth had to disagree with her mother-in-law and said i am not going back to that house i am not going back to my mother's house whatever you will eat i will eat what wheresoever you lodge i will lodge it doesn't matter what is around here it doesn't matter the situation that i'm going through right now i am not looking back i am going forward by that decision that she made of staying where she was provoked the move of god because she had the faith that if I lodge here, if I don't look back and go forward, surely something great should come my way. And we see Ruth being favored by Boaz, finding favor in the eyes of Boaz where he had to say leave don't shout her don't rebuke her anything she wants just give it to her he said to his servants that is how ruth provoked the move of god so what i'm trying to say here it's that your situation it's minor your situation doesn't have to hold you back because if it's going to hold you back you are going to hold the move of god to manifest in your life um you are going to 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 to, to invite in delay stagnation procrastination depression and uh, confusion because you are deciding to, to, to do the worst. Sometimes you need to let yourself be vulnerable. In that vulnerability, in that mist of chaos, God is within. And how you maneuver and move in that situation can only provoke the move of God. So now, what do you need to say, I want to be consistent. I want to stand still. I want to ignite and provoke the move of God. You need to be someone who is patient. You need to be someone who is obedient. You need to be someone who is loving. You need to be loyal. You need a state of purity. And only that can, can you gain when you are directed, when you are focused on the word of God. This is the book of life. This is the path, the way, and the truth of true living. This world that we are living in, it's not where we belong. And we cannot, um, we cannot let ourselves to, to live in it. We cannot give ourselves to the world, to things of this world. 
we shouldn't hallelujah i love god with all my heart and i know that he is going to do something great in my life myself i'm a testimony i am trying to share whatever i have in me in my mind in my spirit man with you that you may be encouraged that you may rise up that you may be shaken a bit to stay and stand firm in your way with god when we look at hannah hannah was what was barren what, what do you think hannah would have done wouldn't she have um, availed herself in the presence of god weeping in the presence of god communing with that inner spirit that lives through him that spirit that is stronger than any other spirit that is surrounding her would she have bare so many kids it took discipline for her to do that it took patience it took obedience it took humility for her to reach to that, to that level where she she, she 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 provokes the move of god she cried for so many years she wanted a kid she wanted a child for her husband but because she was a woman who knows the power of prayer she sticked to that would she have went on and and intoxicated herself with drugs and alcohol running up and down in this world going to witch doctors would she have had favor would she have provoked something to happen in her life no so you are in that situation for a reason the bible says god cannot put you in a situation that is too big for you my brother my sister viewing this video it is hard but you can do it and as you do it as you practice the character of Christ you will get into a certain level you will be elevated to understanding things better to doing things in a better way so seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will follow let us provoke the move of God we cannot be going to church Monday to Sunday every day going to church services serving the Lord but nothing is moving in our lives that on its own is going to demoralize us to keep going to keep serving but when we we do when we serve in truth when we serve having the word having something that is poured that fills up having this manna this as the food of spirituality we will not make an error but overcome and be victorious this was a video for someone to say you are loved god loves you you are only left with provoking his move by your faith your character your true believing let me tell you something the bible says there is no power that is greater than the power that you are carrying know that when someone says something to you you carry that the power to rebuke it to stop it because your power you are more powerful for your own being for your own life than any other person
thank you so much for viewing this video i hope you are blessed by it and by the grace of god more wisdom more light shall come upon me that i may be able to share as many more videos that i can god is with me god is with you god loves both of us stay protected till i see you next time it's a bye from me <laughs>